What do we got today, bud? What do we got? That's right. Today, we're going to a kitchen. We're going to extend the island just by adding on a cabinet. Make it bigger. Everyone likes things bigger. Let's go. Welcome to another how-to. Today we are going to be extending this island for more seating. Uh, we'll have a overhang over here, overhang over here, we're going to be adding on another cabinet here, uh, and then we're going with a different color granite for this to contrast this. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is disconnect this outlet from over here and just kill all that and then bring it back to here. We're gonna leave that outlet. Locate the electrical panel. In this case, it's in the garage. Then we wanna look for anything that is related to the kitchen. We got kitchen outlets, number 19. So that is number 19 right here. We're gonna turn that off. Uh, then we're gonna look, see if we have any more we have another one, kitchen outlets number 13. So we're gonna turn that one off too. And then we're gonna go back to the job and see if that worked. All right, so we tested the outlet, it is off. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to pull off the cover and then pull the outlet. After you have it pulled, you're gonna to wanna to find the wires that go to that outlet. So we know that it's the pipe going that way. So we have them here. We have a purple wire and a gray wire. Basically, all you wanna do is disconnect them. So now that's disconnected, now we can pull the other outlet out. The next thing we're ready to do is Pull off the trim pieces, pull off this backer board if there is one, um, and then probably pull off the uh, granite top and uh, get the uh, next cabinet in here. All right, so we have all the trim off the back, the sides came off pretty easy. We got the top off, that wasn't really even glued on. That is right here. We'll put that back on when we get the other cabinet back on, just for uh, temporarily. But here we go. Now we're gonna bring in the new cabinet and uh, attach it. All right, so we got the cabinet in here. Uh, as you can see, it's a perfect fit. It should be, these cabinets aren't that old, maybe one or two years. Um, issue here is that it is on tile. So with that, uh, obviously tile is never perfectly level or flush. So what we have here is a little bit of a lip here, a little bit of a lip back here. So we're gonna have to fix that so it fits flush in the front and flush in the back. The way to do that is we either sand or cut out with a saw. This little part probably looks like it's rocking about right here. We'll just trim that and trim the other side um, that way it'll sit nicely and flush. So let's get to do with that. All right, so we did it. We cut it down, we're flush there, we're flush back there. So we're perfect. We cut out, as you can see, the bottom there. We'll be able to trim that out with the trim piece we got. Uh, next up we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these doors Clamp it, screw it together. We'll shim the back here because there is a, as you can see, gap here. So we'll just measure that and make that the exact same for the back. All right, so we have everything clamped together. So 
That's flush here. That's flush all the way down there. I've got my clamps. Um, we're gonna be using this size drill bit here. We got little screws. These, two inches long. That's plenty, because that's three. All right, let's get drilling. So, we have the cabinet attached. As you can see, we shimmed this out. It, you can see, is a half inch from there, and it's a half inch there. Uh, as you can see, it extended the island. I believe it's 18 inches. Get a front view here. So that's it. Looks like uh, it was made that way to begin with, which is what everyone should want to do. Um, like I said, we're going to have a hangover on this side, 10 to 12, and a hangover on this side, 10 to 12. Uh, next step is trimming up the back. We're going to cut that panel to fit so it looks like one big cabinet. Uh, we'll put the corner pieces on, and then we'll put the base pieces on, just like it was. Hello, welcome back. So, we have our panel cut. It's right there. We're going to install it. Um, we're going to use panel power grab glue. We'll just schmutz that all over like they did. Um, and we're going to use this brad nailer here with the air compressor and a hose. And we're going to use three quarter inch nails. So we're not really going that far. We're not going to penetrate into the cabinet and poke people when they put stuff in there. And then they're going to cry because it doesn't hurt. It feels good to be poked. Peace out. Look it. Pretty. So we are all done. We have the back panel on, the corner trim, the base trim. We got the toe cake on, so it looks like one piece. Um, next, we're gonna get the granite measured. Like I said, we're gonna be doing this color right here. Uh, let's get that in some light, so. Yeah, unfortunately I wanted a picture of that, so, well, don't cry to me. Don't, don't cry for me, Argentina. So you go. Outlet's in, cabinet's done. Job's done. Later.